Okay, now on the all new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, we have got a brand new feature called generative wallpapers, wherein the AI is going to generate the wallpapers for us based on our inputs. And this feature is also expected to come to the Galaxy S23 series. Now, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how exactly this generative wallpaper works. It's quite interesting. Keep watching the video and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Now, to create a wallpaper using AI, all we need to do is just press and hold on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, here tap on change wallpapers now this is where you will find a creative section under which we have got generative wallpapers and photo ambient wallpapers i've discussed about the photo ambient wallpapers in my previous video where i discussed about all the new lock screen features we have got on one UI 6.1 so if you have missed that video go ahead and check that out i'll leave a link for that in the description now uh, let me tap on a generative option here now you see this is the page where we are going to create the wallpapers based on the inputs now you see on the top we have got mineral wallpapers which are showing up this is showing up by default now at the bottom we have got some categories here it says create something new now here under generative wallpapers we can't really input anything that we want we need to input the presets which are available right here now you can see we have got different categories here we've got imaginary night painting terrain mineral luminous soft focus translucent and blue now, out of these categories, we will be able to input different items and create the AI wallpaper. Now, let me tap on imaginary here. Now, you see, this is the wallpaper which is currently available. At the bottom, we have got this input option. It says a surreal lamp made of flowers in shades of pink and purple. Now, here you see, we have got a few words which are highlighted. Only these words can be changed. Now, for example, a surreal lamp, I can tap on this lamp to change uh, the items here, like you can see, we have got a few options. We have got bicycle, building, uh, lamp, table, boat, castle, etc. We can select anything that we want. Now, let me select a castle. You see the word is being replaced by castle here. A serial castle made of flowers in shades of pink and purple. I can change flowers and I can select anything that I want. Let's keep flowers for now. I will select pink and purple color. I can change this color to green and teal maybe or uh, let's say blue and indigo. Now it's been selected. Now I'll just have to tap on generate. You see the AI is generating the wallpaper based on the input. And this looks just beautiful. As you can see, we get four different results. These are surreal castle made of flowers in shades of blue and indigo. Now, if you want to change the color of these flowers, I can just tap on blue and indigo again. I'll tap on green and teal, generate. You see now these flowers are in green and teal and even the uh, castle is in different design. Now, every time we input a particular color or a particular design or an item, it is going to show us different results. These are the four results we are seeing here. Next time when I uh, get back here again with the same inputs, I will see different designs here. That is something interesting. Now, let me change this castle to maybe uh, a boat. I'll tap on generate. You see a surreal boat made of flowers in shades of green and teal. Now, let's generate the same results again. Uh, and then see whether the results are similar or not. Let me just record the screen here so that we know what we have generated uh, with this input. You see, we have got these four results. Now I'll stop the recording. Now I'll just go back. And now again, I will select imaginary. I will change the lamp to the boat and I will uh, keep flowers as it is. Now I'll select green and teal again. Now this is the same we created a few seconds ago. Now let me just tap on generate. Now let's see whether it's going to generate different images with the same inputs. Yes, it has got a different designs of the boats here and they are not same as before. You can see the recording I am flashing on the screen. That is the previous results we had and this is the current results we have. Now let's go back. Now let me select night. Now here it's an abstract gray distant mountain range with eyes. Now when I tap on distant mountain range, I get different options here. I can uh, replace it with cliff, mountain, sand dunes, beach, river, foggy swamp, and sand. Now let me select a uh, river. Now uh, this is with ice. Now I'll change the ice. You can see we've got flowers, coral reef, ice, bubbles, clouds, waves. Now let me select coral reef. I'll tap on generate. Now this is how abstract gray river with coral reef looks like. Now let me change this gray uh, to maybe uh, teal. I'll tap on generate. These look beautiful in teal color, isn't it? Now let me change the river here. I will change this to beach and I'll tap on generate. You see we have got a teal beach here. 
Now, with your creativity, you can uh, create some amazing wallpapers using these presets. Now, let me go back. Now, I'll select soft focus. A soft focus photo of poppies with orange hues. Now, let me change this item here. I will select marigolds here and I will change the orange color to maybe muted natural. I will tap on generate. You see, this is a soft focus photo and they look just beautiful. Now, likewise, you can create different uh, wallpapers using AI on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And every time you create it, you get different results, which is something to note here. And I'm not really sure when is it going to repeat the same results after trying it for a few times. Now, once you generate it, all you need to do is apply it on the lock screen or on the home screen. You see, I will pick a particular uh, image here. Let me select this one. Now here I can select lock screen or home screen. I can tap on next. This is how uh, it's going to look on the home screen. Now I'll change the colors of these items here. I will change it to maybe black and I'll tap on done. And this is my home screen now. And this is the lock screen that I have. See, it looks beautiful. There are some amazing wallpapers we can create using uh, the generative AI feature on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, these features are going to come to the Galaxy S23 Ultra as well. As soon as we get it, I will keep you guys posted. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts about uh, these AI wallpapers in the comment section below. Do you see yourself using these wallpapers? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There are some interesting contents coming up on the Galaxy S24 Ultra as well as the predecessors of this phone and all the updates that you need to know. I will be posting very soon. So thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.